Oh, fuck me in the ass, man. Seriously? I already did all this shit. Hey there, everybody. Don't worry in here. Welcome to another episode of Necrosis. So we're back in Necrosis in this underwater sea death prison of horror where we keep having hallucinations and weird squid like monsters that look like Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean keeps trying to suck your face Ooh, out. Tasty. Other than that, everything's going good, right? So. We're still trying to find our way out. This entire base is completely ruined. Um, we're finding dead people all over the place, collecting their data as that happens. So, unable to establish communication with Surface. Retry it again and again until it works. Because when something doesn't work, just do and do it again, over and over. All right, I'm, I'm actually dying, so that's not a good idea, huh? Um, What's this say? Offline evac pod, but there's also an online evac pod at Compass 2, and there looks like there's some kind of some kind of trolley system that takes us there. This is reminding me a lot, a lot of Soma. Uh, the more and more we play it, it's reminding me more and more of Soma, except scarier. Really though, what do we got here? Is that some O2? Oh, I can use the canisters to fill up my O2 tank, and then just that is neat. That is neat right there. That is a cool thing to have. I don't know why they couldn't just put a canister there. Um, you know, it's not like there's any way of me refilling the one I have other than at those designated places anyways, so. Oh, hey. Prototype suit, can I wear you? Oh, nope, you're a dead guy. Is that a guy in one of those squiddy things in that room? Because that's fucking... Fucking terrifying. Is it gonna eat his face? This is making me think of the movie Life. That thing looks like it's straight out of the movie Life. Is that a window? Please tell me that's a window and it can't come through here and get me. You know, you're partly majestic looking and also fucking scary. Why is that guy wearing a hoodie underwater? That doesn't make sense. What the fuck? What the fuck is a hoodie gonna do when you have a controlled environment? Like, is it? Is there gonna be a breeze underwater? You need that hoodie, you know? Yeah, this is definitely what I wish Soma had been. Shit. Don't mind me. Just uh, exploring these these abandoned bedrooms. That's all I'm doing. This this person quite liked the jazz. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that a phone? Is there a phone in here or is it in a different room? It's gotta be in a different room. Let's just, oh, uh, we're, we're still we're still good on flares. I don't know what the point of flares are in this game. Like, I don't feel like they're gonna do anything. You can't kill stuff with them. That thing was just working a second ago. Is that at the end of this hallway? That one was working too. Those lights were on not too long ago. Now they're just magically off. As this mysterious telephone keeps keeps ringing, why is there even a normal telephone down here? Ah! How am I back in this room? How am I back? I was just in this room, and my flare did get used. I shot that thing with a flare. Did that save me? Or is that all planned all along? Is this door gonna magically stop working now? No, okay, it's working now. Oh, I swear to God, that telephone better not start ringing, though. All right, this guy liked Save Me, Mr. Taco. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be a cute game. That's a dead hamster, that's, that's special. That's a special thing. Fuck you! Fuck you! No! How are they moving? Are these like... I ain't down with this shit. They're like weeping angels. Underwater. They're just appearing frozen in time. Oh, this, this one liked music, it seems. This one was, was a music connoisseur. Alright, what's gonna be out here this time? No, you ain't f nope, there it is. I was about to say, they ain't gonna fuck with me this time, but they are anyways. <clears throat> F- 
Fuck you! Oh shit! What even is this game? I'm glad I don't have a VR set now, because I would have shit myself already. I would have flat out shit my pants if this was VR. I don't know how anyone, anyone can play this thing in VR. You are brave souls if you play this thing in VR. Is that my way to escape? Maybe? Yes? No? I hate you. I hate you so much. Wait, where'd the exit go? Thought it was down that way. Wait, there used to be a telephone right there. What happened to the telephone? What happened to the telephone? Okay. What's in the jellyfish room? What's in this, this jellyfish room right here? Nothing? Great. Let's walk back out and be tortured. Wait, wait. Got, got some oxygen. We we're almost dead. Okay, so it gives you about 50%. Alright, what is it now? Anything? Nothing? Alright, cool. Let's just, let's just go it through here. This seems like a safe way to go into the bathroom where there's... Very clearly a spider. Guess who? Tell me more about how you're- You don't like being isolated. Yet you chose to come down here to the bottom of the ocean to live in a fucking death trap. Surrounded by monsters that are going to murder you. Tell me more about how- About how you regret this decision, huh? Because that's gonna help. Get away from me, fish. I don't want to fish around with you right now. I don't even know what the fuck that means, but I'm saying it. I don't know half the stuff I say means, I just say it. Alright. What else we got to look for in here? Anything? I'm just trying to find a goddamn way out. Is that the way out? Okay. Maybe it is. What's that say? Iron... Lion? Alright. Cool, yo. Is that a band or something? Is that supposed to mean something to me? I'm gonna use a flare, because it's... It's kind of dark. Maybe it'll magically light up a good chunk of this place. Nope! Nope! Mmm! Mmm! This is a goddamn maze. That's what this is. I'm gonna shoot a flare out there, see what happens. Nothing, because I missed. Alright. Enough of wasting those things. That's- that's a suit right there. That's a dead monster thing. This doesn't look like a good place to be. That's not dead. That one's not dead. Is it? I can't fucking tell, but I don't- For the love of God, don't attack me. Ezor Stella. Ezor must have been outside Compass 1 when the shockwave hit. Cut off, forced to make his way back through the service tunnels. It's hard to believe that something punctured his suit. The local wildlife tends to be docile? Docile? That's what you call this shit? Docile and skittish? Huh? <laughs> but all the heat and commotion has the whole place stirred up. And to survive these conditions, I guess you gotta be graceful as a guest. You are a warm host. Don't attack me. Get me the fuck. Oh, fuck you! Get off me! No, no! Okay, this is where it's starting us. Um, is, is this area. So that's where I'm gonna leave it off for this episode. We'll continue the second half of this journey to Compass 2 in the next episode. I had a little heart attack at the end there. They were at me and it was like, blah, blah, blah. Like Davy Jones face fucking me. F oh. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this and joining me on this. On this. Quest of mine. Really appreciate it. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, y'all have a good rest of your day. And I'll catch you in my next video. Later. <laughs>
crap on a shingle. Holy shit and crap, shingle crap. Fuck! <laughs>